And Philip, many, many times, uh, I think we've all who lived a while recognize this. What God asks you to do sometimes doesn't make common sense. <laughs> now, what, what sense did it make to go borrow vessels when you've only got a little bitty jar of oil? You can't fill up anything. That doesn't make any sense. No. But what sense does it make for an old man to hold up a stick over a Red Sea with a few million people saying, you brought us out here because there weren't enough graves in Egypt and He's Pharaoh's bearing us. down with trouble. Yeah. Did they have a manual to open up and say, okay, when, when we're at a red, at a sea and we need to cross it, hold stick in right hand up high to 45 degree angle. No, no, they didn't have that. No. It's like, God, who would have thought to have a teenage boy with a rock in his pocket and a slingshot go up against a 10 foot tall giant? See, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't no. make sense. Who, who would have thought for Gideon, get rid of thousands of guys. I want you to take 300 to attack 75,000. Dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Proverbs 3 says, lean not to our own understanding, yes, but in sir. all our ways, trust him, Jim, he'll direct our paths. And so it, it all of this boils down to faith, believing yeah. God, but you got to have a word from God. Absolutely. And, you know, maybe there's some pastors and some people, some moms, some dads, who knows, some teenagers that are watching now, or you're watching this later on. And you need a word from God. You need a word from God. It starts, it starts by getting in, getting in your Bible here, getting you for Bible. Yes, God can speak to other people to you, but get in the Bible and say, Holy Spirit, I need a word from you. Speak Jesus. to me. Speak to me. Speak to me. And whatever comes up in your heart, then do it. Obedience releases the door to blessing. And that's what happened in this lady's life. And this was just the beginning. It was the beginning. And it can happen in your life, too. You know, necessity is the mother of invention. That's an old saying I grew up with. Well, circumstances, problems, difficulties, just like we're going through right now in our nation and, and around the world. Uh, difficulties are, 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 are opportunities for God to have a miracle happen in your life. And I tell you, Truth. if we are going to reach the world, we're going to have to get back to a miracle God, absolutely, not just a motivational God. And I, I like oh, motivational preach, messages. Preach We've that. got to get back to a miracle God. The world yes. needs to a miracle God. God.